Can a society with all its intricate complexities and dependencies truly flourish within the seemingly simple confines of a glass jar? It's a question that probes the very essence of community and survival. This question brings us to the heart of what it means to build a community, to establish roles, and ultimately, to survive against the odds. It forces us to consider the fundamental building blocks of any society, no matter how small. We look upon the humble ant, a creature so small and seemingly insignificant, yet capable of extraordinary feats of engineering and intricate social organization that rival even our own. When we carefully place a colony of ants into a sealed world of soil and sand, mimicking their natural environment, we're not just passively observing them, we're actively testing the resilience of life itself, pushing the boundaries of adaptation and survival in a microcosm. Can the intricate rules, the established hierarchies, and the well-defined roles that govern a bustling anthill be successfully replicated here, within the confines of this transparent cylinder? Will they, through instinct and cooperation, create a functioning civilization, a miniature society with purpose and order, or will chaos reign supreme, leading to the colony's ultimate demise? The experiment itself is deceptively simple in its setup, but its implications are profound, offering a window into the very nature of social structures and the drive to thrive. We begin with a carefully selected collection of ants, each playing a vital role in the colony's success, and crucially, a queen among them. Because without her leadership and reproductive capacity, there is ultimately no future for the colony. For 60 days, a significant stretch in the life of an ant, this carefully constructed jar will be their entire universe, their complete and utter reality. They'll inevitably face daunting challenges related to limited space, scarce resources, and the raw, unfiltered expression of their own ingrained instincts. Our task, as silent observers, is to meticulously watch, carefully document, and strive to deeply understand the unfolding story that plays out within these transparent glass walls. A silent, captivating drama of relentless survival, remarkable adaptation, and surprising ingenuity. The ants carry within them a complex blueprint for survival, a set of instructions honed and perfected over millions upon millions of years of evolution. But the crucial question remains, will these ancient, time-tested rules and behaviors effectively apply in such an artificial and severely constrained environment? This is far more than just a simple observation of insects going about their daily lives. It's a profound lesson in the power of collaboration, the necessity of effective problem-solving, and the relentless, unwavering drive of life to create order and meaning from chaos. A testament to life's ability to flourish, adapt, and even thrive, even in the most unlikely and seemingly inhospitable of places. The creation of this new world, a miniature ecosystem, begins with the vessel itself. We need a container that's both functional and allows for clear observation. A large clear glass jar is ideal, offering ample space for the ants to build their tunnels and chambers, while providing us with a front row seat to their intricate society. Its transparency is key for observation. Inside, we carefully layer dark nutrient-rich soil. This will serve as the foundation of their habitat, providing the necessary minerals and structure for their tunnels. On top of that, we add fine light-colored sand. This lighter layer will contrast beautifully with the dark soil. This isn't just for looks. The contrasting colors reveal the complex network of tunnels and chambers the ants will diligently create. It's like watching them draw their world in real time. Once the landscape is ready and prepared, a small, carefully selected colony, consisting of workers, the tireless builders and foragers, and most importantly, the queen, the heart and future of the colony, is gently and carefully introduced to their new home. The ants scatter initially, exploring their new terrain with cautious curiosity. They are mapping out their surroundings, assessing the potential and the dangers, antennae twitching, constantly sampling the air and the ground, as they gather crucial information about their environment. The queen, the most valuable member of the colony, is quickly surrounded by her loyal workers. They guide her to a safe and secure location, ensuring her well-being and the continuation of the colony. The initial chaos gradually gives way to a sense of order and purpose. The colony begins to methodically assess its new domain, identifying resources and potential nesting sites. The environment is then carefully sealed with a perforated lid, allowing for essential air exchange while ensuring that no adventurous ants can escape their glass confines. A damp cotton ball is placed inside, 
providing a constant and accessible source of water for the colony. Small drops of sugar water, for energy, and protein-rich food, for growth and development, are placed sparingly within the jar. The ants must learn to efficiently manage their limited resources. They must forage diligently and carefully store what they find, ensuring the survival of the colony. All of this mirrors their natural behaviors in the wild, just on a smaller, more observable scale. The stage is now set. The ants have their world, their resources, their queen, and the opportunity to build a thriving society within the confines of their glass home. The jar is carefully placed in a quiet spot away from disturbances, away from direct sunlight and vibrations to create a stable and predictable environment that will encourage natural behaviors. For the next 60 days, this glass cylinder will be a captivating theater of life, hosting the daily dramas of construction as they tirelessly excavate and build their intricate tunnels, foraging as they seek out and transport resources to sustain their growing colony, birth as new generations emerge, adding to the colony's strength and numbers, and even death a natural part of the cycle reminding us of the fragility and resilience of life within this miniature world. In the first 24 hours, a remarkable transformation begins to unfold. The initial chaos, the seemingly random scurrying, gradually gives way to purpose and a sense of collective direction. It's a testament to their innate social intelligence. The ant's first and foremost objective, secure the queen. Her safety and well-being are paramount to the colony's survival. Workers quickly identify a promising spot, a strategic location for their new home, and begin the arduous task of excavation driven by instinct and necessity. With tireless effort, they carry away tiny particles of soil, forming the first spoil heap, a visible sign of their progress. Division of labor emerges almost immediately, a sophisticated system of specialization that maximizes efficiency. Some become dedicated excavators, digging and expanding the network of tunnels, while others act as foragers, venturing out to explore their new environment, searching for vital resources and still others devote themselves to the crucial task of tending to the queen, ensuring her comfort and well-being. The diligent foragers soon discover sources of water and food, essential for the colony's survival and growth. They leave chemical trails, invisible pathways that guide their fellow ants to these precious resources, creating a living supply line that sustains the colony. Below the surface, hidden from view, the first chamber begins to take shape. A sanctuary, a safe haven for the queen, who begins the vital process of laying eggs ensuring the future of the colony. With relentless determination, the workers continue to expand the nest, carefully designating specific chambers for nurseries, providing a safe and nurturing environment for their young, and other chambers for food storage, ensuring a constant supply of sustenance. The city is planned and built simultaneously, a testament to their innate architectural abilities, driven by collective need and a shared vision of a thriving community. By the end of just a few days, the surface of their world is completely transformed, marked by numerous tunnel entrances and small mounds of earth, evidence of their tireless efforts. The ants have successfully claimed this world as their own, secured their queen's safety, and begun the intricate process of building a home, a sanctuary, a civilization. Their initial frantic energy is now channeled and directed with remarkable precision and purpose. They are no longer lost and disoriented pioneers. They are now the architects and citizens of a thriving new society, a testament to their resilience and adaptability. The foundations of their miniature world are being laid, one grain of sand, one tiny effort at a time. Tunnel building is a masterclass in collaborative engineering. Each ant follows simple rules, dig, carry, deposit. Yet together, they carve a metropolis from the earth. Tunnels curve and wind, following paths of least resistance with ants instinctively creating stable arches and avoiding collapses. Over weeks, a single entrance becomes a multi-leveled labyrinth, with nurseries, food storage, and the queen's chamber. Ants solve structural problems as they arise, reinforcing walls with saliva to create natural cement. The tunnels are living architecture, constantly modified and repaired. The nest is more than shelter, it's the physical manifestation of the colony's social structure. Against the glass, we see a living map a three-dimensional blueprint of their society. The jar reveals a city built by instinct, cooperation, and relentless work. The ant colony's achievements come from collective power, not individual intelligence. There's no leader, just a superorganism coordinated by chemical communication. 
Ants use pheromones to guide others to food, signal alarm, and mark territory. A silent language orchestrating every move. Physical contact, like antennal touches, shares information about the colony's needs. Food is shared through trophallaxis, ensuring resources reach every member. Problem solving is decentralized. When a challenge arises, ants react based on simple rules, and group behavior emerges. Complex solutions arise from simple actions, allowing rapid adaptation. Roles within the colony are divided. The queen lays eggs, workers handle all other tasks. Among workers, age determines duties. Young ants care for the brood, older ones forage and defend. This age-based division ensures the most expendable ants take the greatest risks. The colony's structure maximizes survival, with every member playing a part. Intelligence here is collective, not individual. The result, a society that adapts, survives, and thrives. As 60 days pass, the jar's internal landscape is transformed. Simple tunnels evolve into a sprawling metropolis. Sand and soil layers blur as ants mix the substrate. Old tunnels are abandoned, new chambers excavated, urban renewal in miniature. The nest is a living, breathing system constantly changing. The nursery and food stores shift locations in response to subtle environmental changes. The queen lays eggs continuously and the population swells. New workers join the ranks, increasing pressure on resources and space. The ants dig faster, forage more and expand their labyrinth to accommodate growth. By the end, the jar is a dense, complex city, pockmarked with entrances and a maze of tunnels. The ants have not just lived in their environment, they have fundamentally remade it. Their world is a dynamic monument to collective will. adaptation, not defeat. The ants don't just inhabit the jar, they master it. Their solutions are a blueprint for survival in any world. After 60 days, the answer is clear. A complex, organized society has emerged. The jar is now a functioning city-state with architecture, resource management, and social structure. The ants have thrived, transforming their environment to meet every need. Their blueprint for society is innate, encoded by evolution. Each member plays a role guided by instinct and chemical cues. The colony adapts to every challenge not by conscious thought but through collective intelligence. The ant colony in a jar is a powerful metaphor for the systems that govern the natural world. It shows how simple rules, followed by many, create resilient, complex societies. Our 60-day journey ends, but the wonder it inspires is just beginning. This glass jar revealed a universe of complexity, a society built on cooperation and ingenuity. For every question answered, new ones arise. What other marvels lie hidden in the natural world? Anyone can replicate this experiment with curiosity and patience. Watching ants teaches us to see the world differently, to appreciate complexity in small spaces. These miniature worlds help us understand larger questions, ecosystems, sustainability, even space habitats. Let this be an invitation. Look closer, ask questions, and never lose your sense of wonder. The story of life is endless. Keep watching, keep learning, and discover the marvels all around you.